to install Eclipse in Windows 10 or Windows 11, first let's go to Google and search for download Eclipse. Now you need to click the first one here from eclipse.org. Now this is the home page of the Eclipse Foundation. You need to go to Eclipse IDE to download it. So click on more and click on download. Now you'll be going you'll be moved to the download page. So I'll also have this link in the description. You can copy it and paste it directly and you can directly come here. Now click on this Eclipse ID 2306 download. And now you'll come to this page and just click on download. And your download should start. As you can see here, now download is started. Also, there is this donate option here. Now if you want, you can donate to the Eclipse community and we will install after our download is complete. So as you can see here, Eclipse is now downloaded. Click on open file or double click to open from your downloads folder. As you can see here, installer by oomp is showing up. Now installer will start in a few seconds. So now you need to choose you want to install Eclipse for what. Also you can later on modify and configure this. But for now, as most people do, I will install Eclipse for Java developers. This is the Java development kit that will be used by Eclipse. Now, if you don't have JDK installed, click on the first link in the description and you will see how you can install that. JDK is necessary for any Java development. So after you have installed JDK, you can configure this or you can later on add from where JDK to use in Eclipse configuration. And this is where your Eclipse will be installed. So you can choose to uncheck both of these or check both of these, it does not matter. And doing this will show Eclipse in start menu. Doing this will show Eclipse icon in desktop. Okay, click on install. Click accept now. And as you can see, Eclipse is installing. So as you can see, our Eclipse is installed. Now you can click on launch to open Eclipse. Click on launch and our eclipse is opening so by default it will ask you where to save eclipse projects and this is the folder where all the eclipse projects will be saved by default you can change this by clicking on this browse button but i'll just launch this so this page automatically opened up i can close this and go back to eclipse let's Maximize this. Now, as you can see, you get a bunch of options. You can create a new Java project, check out projects from Git. Let's create a new Java project or let's close this. Let's create a Hello World application first. Okay, so that page is gone. Anyway, I think I'll have to create a Java project now. So you can give it a name first Java project. And this is what will be used to run the project. You can set all these things to default and not change anything and click finish and your project directory is ready. As you can see here, there's a .java file and it has nothing, it's just a module. Now inside source, you can create new Java class and I'll just call it main class. And here in this main class, you can write your public static void main and all that good stuff. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.